sun is out, summer is among us, and niggas are out. The whores and treasures are lurking and they are out and about in the sundresses. Little Isimiyaki pleats dirts. And you must be wondering, Josan, what are you doing to prep? You should get a retwist, nigga. And a lot of people, rather than saying, yo, Josan, where have you been for the past couple of uh, months and uh, weeks? And where have you been? It took a while for you to come back. What's been going on? No. Instead of niggas saying that, they don't go flying fuck. They've been violating me in the comments on Instagram saying, Josan, I'll pay for your retwist. Nigga, you need a retwist. Nigga, you look like a monkey straight up. And I didn't like that one. That one was kind of rude. I didn't, I didn't really like that one. I, I, I take, take, take that one back. All the other ones, they have perfectly good excuses. But the monkey one was a little rude and unjustified, nigga. Y'all nigga kind of look bad nigga <laughs> whoa <laughs> whoa what is going on my dear lovely thick juicy voluptuous smexy like smexy we're gonna use that one smexy you remember that one hot swagalicious thick niggas and today on this video we have a little tier list and the tier list is like an iceberg fashion iceberg we should name it the fashion iceberg nigga no bullshit but it's just gonna keep getting worse and worse or better depending on what your style and sense of style is we're gonna make an official one this one's gonna be a little more uh rude crazy disrespectful fun funny we'll see and if you if the shoe fits on either one of you guys then you guys aren't doing it right and you guys need to find some originality within your for uh your <coughs> <coughs> starting off i know there's a lot of genders but i'm gonna stick to these two for now I don't know. i'm not diving into all of that nigga with the x's and the zorzims and that and I'm, hold on nigga i'm only one nigga anyways so the first one first tier of the fashion list is the uh lady i talked about this in my last video the girls where they wear the ice uh the zara fashion zara jeans double cuff light wash nigga maybe turns a little baggy depending on what sale sheen has nigga and then they got the air forces white air forces usually they're beat up to shit and they got it usually a red two top a black two top or a two top from uh what is it called the little cute top from brandy belvo nigga the little film uh, hating on it but they're still nevertheless that's fashion tier number one to match with the nigga the nigga's usually uh he has like a hawaiian shirt or maybe like a little top he doesn't really matter and there's somewhere at the bottom maybe vans that bullshit nigga you you know what type of niggas the party fried niggas here too is where we get a little old you now there's some vintage going on in there some vintage t-shirts nigga still on some bullshit the proportions are still ass but maybe you might see a little dunks you might see a little dunks nigga and the dunks will get uh you know, like, uh, they might try some little vintage t-shirt that they picked up at the thrift, a little boomerang saver is fine. It's, it's usually ass, it's not that crazy, but it means something to them. Like, maybe they picked up, like, their favorite band Nirvana t-shirt, and usually, this is when the girls, the little white girl that drink the white cloth, they, they get up, and they, they might think that, ooh, Amanda, I like that flannel. She pulls out the flannel, but she's still wearing the basic shit on the bottom. She just wears a flannel, or just like a little blouse top instead of the, instead of the tube top, nigga. So, you can tell that she's like started to find herself and she started looking at Pinterest a little more, nigga. You feel me? And so does the nigga. The nigga starts seeing some fits for fits pages, all uh, that type of shit. This is where it starts getting crazy. And tier number three, nigga. Is it tier number three, tier number four. Either way, this is where it starts getting crazy. The piercings start coming out, nigga. And the alt starts coming a little more thrash. The cigarettes after sex and all those other alt bands that start coming out, nigga their true self starts to come out all of a sudden jonathan's the they them uh amanda goes by a <laughs> like you don't know what's going on but the, the swag starts getting a little crazy it's a little uh destroy lonely little uh kind of TikTok-y vibe getting a little goth a little alt it's, it starts to get a little weird and you're like i don't know what's going on everyone starts looking different like you see uh adam he uh his, his parents own like a yacht but at the end of the day it doesn't matter it's like wearing eyeliner he's getting frisky he's getting weird he's wearing a thrash thing he's starting wearing crop tops and they get belly button piercings i don't know what's going on that's tier number three nigga <laughs> tier number four i think i don't know nigga i lost out already tier number five tier number five is where niggas start going on grail and going on deep hop now they're getting a little crazy now they're getting creative and now they're going on tiktok mind you all the way up to this point they're all still ass like everyone's still ass at this point it's gonna keep getting like no it's not gonna really change but like realistically either way <laughs> i digress your five is when <laughs> you start seeing these weird uh <laughs> 
TikTok boys and the, the grail purchases. Start seeing the number nine Mickey Mouse tee. Sometimes they get crazy with the mirror hover shoes, whatever they're called, like the, the melting uh, converses. I don't know what they're called. You start seeing some more dark shadow. You start to see the reps too, nigga. You start to see the reps too. <laughs> Yikes. Start seeing puff print brands and you start seeing all this bullshit, all the zip ups and all the uh, Jenko jeans. They start going crazy. All of a sudden, they're going to rogue arms. They're acting like they put on something. It's like the fit is always still ass. And you start seeing some more creativity from them that you haven't seen them in like the past year. You start seeing the niggas wear skirts under, over their jeans and you start seeing niggas get a little freaky. Fruit burgers, I would call them. But hey, no discrimination against the gay niggas. Tier six is when niggas start actually getting into their favorite brands. Like niggas start seeing like uh, their favorite artists, like let's say Destroy Lonely or the Opium niggas and uh, <coughs> other niggas uh, that they fuck with. And they start seeing all these influencer pages and this type of shit. And they're like, okay, this girl, like internet girl or whatever her name is. I think that's her name. Everyone, you start seeing more people start thrifting. Now they're thrifting, going crazy. Let's go thrifting. Like that's like the first date idea instead of like, let's go to a pavement or a coffee shop, nigga. They start getting more crazy and creative with their thrifting ideas. Even though, nigga, I don't know what the point of a thrift date is. You guys are just like at separate sections and you guys come by each other. You're like, I just found this, <laughs> it's really cool. Loki, it's ass, but like, you still try to communicate with her and vice versa. And you feel me? Like, it, it, it's weird. It's a weird concept, but I, I, I respect it. Like, maybe after like eight days, I would recommend. But hey, I'm single, nigga. So don't listen to any fucking advice I gotta give. Everyone starts getting a little more creative with their sense of style. It's not really creative. It's just better what they, than what they were doing before, nigga. Like, you start seeing the more breads. And they can start wearing all full Rick. If it's rep, it's rep. They still wear it like it's uh, how they see fit. Like, you start seeing a... Uh, Carl with a fucking Vetmont race bomber, or you might see him with a Vetmont hoodie that was off sale for essence for like, I'd give or take 85 for set off. It used to be a thousand, now it goes for 275. Uh, James, his hair starts getting a little way longer. It starts kind of looking like dreads, but he doesn't want to fully culturally appropriate the dreads, so he just keeps it all messy on purpose just so he can look like he's like one of the opium niggas, but it's like dreads and it's like he's mysterious and starts posting fit pics in the garages and with all that type of shit, nigga. And then for the girls, you, the, they Lot biters, they start wearing all this layering, like all this like flowy, like big proportional outfits where it just looks like they're draped in like uh, my mom's dining table uh, curtains and shit like that. They start getting crazy, start wearing the fur boots, they start thinking they're different. Meanwhile, on both sides and actually all sides, because there's multiple genders, I have to keep saying that so niggas don't get canceled. <laughs> it's all ass, and on top of that. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes, nigga. So, tier nine is when they start finding their fashion. You can either go two roots. Two roots is still do the TikTok nigga type of shit and then do your thrift haul and be like, get ready with me. And they get ready. The fits ask, but like low key, uh, for little niggas that don't, that are on tier one, two, three, and four, they're just looking up to them and they're like, damn, y'all really the best dress. And like, I've been seeing a lot of niggas when they'd be like, when you'd walk around and see those interviews and they're like, uh, so what do you what do you how much how would you rate their outfit? They're mad bold with it, nigga. They're like ten. They like, uh, I think I'm a nine. Solid eight, seven. Meanwhile, they're all solid threes and twos, nigga. The proportions are ass. The, they're all wearing their friends' bread and other bread that they made and distressing their own jeans. They're everyone sewing and creating jeans that are ass. And then all of a sudden they're like, I think I'm a ten the nigga say because trash is start getting to niggas' heads. That's why you see me inside this uh very strange creepy room. With uh, it looks like I'm in the mental hospital. I found like a little room and I uh, started recording before that. I have to give up my phone at <laughs> curfew time. <laughs> but every you let their egos get into their heads and then they start acting like they're the top flies niggas. And then every now everyone's claiming they're the flies niggas. And those are the ones we're gonna wait till we get to that tier because those niggas are awful. So uh, let's move on. So tier. You're like nine or eight. I don't, I, I lost count, but we're gonna say eight to, just to be sure. Um, tier eight, this is when you start finding like complete brands. It sounds a little repetitive, but trust me, it's not. Uh, you start sticking to a brand like before, like now you start sticking to a style. Like, oh, I'm more of like a Le Grand Bleu, or like, is that how you said Le Grand Bleu? Uh, or I'm into Walter White, or uh, not Walter White. <laughs> <laughs> Or so, uh, what is it called? What is that bread called? Uh, Walter Van Dierdok. 
by called Walter Bear Deer, but being dark, that means start getting to the stranger brands and start getting crazy and creative. Those type of niggas, those are the powerful niggas when they have their account uh, private, when they have like a secret account and they have really small followers. Those are the powerful niggas. I, I, I can respect those niggas. The other niggas I can't respect are the niggas that think that just because they're obsessed with Rick and they know all the fucking shows and all the years and they're like, this is Rick's best ever, this, that, the third. It doesn't really reflect on their outfits, which is very funny and very strange, or their brands. Like, some people would be knowing a lot about fashion or they start creating their own brand and shit's ass. And there's a lot of examples. And then you also got the vintage niggas that I mentioned on a whole nother video earlier when you got them wearing their own niggas brands and then you got the, it's a mostly new york niggas and then all of a sudden once in a while they pop off and you see them with like a pickups uh on their tiktok nigga and the whole shit's ass they try to mix their friend's brand with other friends brands with uh sheen and uh jaded london and then it's, it, it just looks ass and then the girls they just start dressing like dolls and it starts getting fucking weird they start wearing tutus and fucking crazy makeup and i respect it because i'm still looking hungry but one nigga like too many niggas out there in New York. I can't even say one nigga. Too many niggas creating bullshit brands that are just similar. You just rip off some other brands, but they think they're on some other shit just because it's black old nigga. <laughs> I'm sorry to hate on the black niggas, but like niggas, can we just stop making these brands? These brands are just bullshit. Tremaine and Boy is the epitome of this. And he, he, him and Virgil are like making this bullshit. Like everyone, why don't you make brands like Kanye West is easy? It's more simplistic, easy on the eyes, all this other bullshit with the fucking three black candles on the fucking denim to your jeans it's just like yo it looks like you just put the jeans here and then search up flowers add a repeat and then search up candles and then put the black tag on the back like what is going on nigga like it's too easy anyways all these niggas most likely dress like ass and then they become tiktok influencers with large following so then they brainwash other niggas into thinking they're fly when they're really not just because they know how to kind of color coordinate and it's usually with the, the girls do the same thing but I'm honestly and if we're being real non-binaries and the girls honestly dress better than most niggas like I feel like niggas there's like a huge like gap in like uh style between girls and niggas and like that's why there was a little period of time when niggas started trying to dress in skirts and wear skirts over their jeans and skirts in general because they're trying to catch up, catch up with the girls and they're still losing by a landslide, nigga. And every single nigga, I've never seen a good outfit. Besides my nigga Frankie. Shout out to my nigga Frankie. That's that one nigga that he, they could, uh, they could really do that shit. Uh, they could get away with it. But everyone else that I've seen in them skirts, like the niggas primarily, I can see it's like trying to be like masculine or feminine shoulder. Nah, all that shit was ass, nigga. I haven't seen like a good, maybe like a you Virgil runway looks I don't know but like realistically nigga that's just ask next tier this is where it starts getting like it's all out of hand it's like like niggas like now niggas is going in on their heads and they're they're too hyped on themselves they think they're the shit and it's just like a whole entire thing where it's just like ah now these niggas are getting ass like it's getting really bad to the point where it's just like yo my niggas like stop please it's like what are you doing my nigga and it's just like now it's no longer am i fly it's more so now i'm copying these trends or trying to create a trend myself and uh for example let me give you a good example um i've been seeing a lot of these niggas on my explore page it irks me I've, i talked about it in my last video i said things that need to stay back in 2023 is when the niggas like add this uh facial thing to their face face at pause the face app thing and then they uh they're wearing balenciaga all balenciaga it's usually styled like ass and balenciaga is really not that hard to style it's pretty easy um but niggas just go crazy with these uh thingies and then they think that they're the flies they go hard and then the shit falls flat because just because they're wearing expensive clothes i see niggas that thrift that do a way better job at styling nigga and it's just like they use all their antics on instagram to promote their uh their fashion uh amongst niggas and it's just like a whole crowd it's just like a bunch of degenerate niggas and it's just like terrible their fashion sense is awful i really hate on them two niggas that i will exclude maybe three niggas i will exclude is a uh, joey because i think he's a soundcloud singer more than a fit pick person jake john Ward howard i'll exclude him and uh chi chi charito those three niggas they have their own unique style those are the only niggas that i could know that basically i'm pretty sure started it but like 
put them aside the rest of the niggas that started that bullshit nigga please stop it's just awful even when you take off the filter and you and just you keep doing more antics like this fit for example is one really gets me mad it's just like okay nice you have expensive clothes at the end of the day niggas could still uh, kick rocks and like it's just ah uh, Ooh, uh, <laughs> can I really say much? I'm just a nigga just talking inside a inside a very closed space. Like I look crazy. So there's two tiers that I left off that are separate from the iceberg. It's the secret niggas that I mentioned earlier. They are a whole different breed. A secret bunch of niggas that uh, work from the inside. They have like finsters or private accounts that. I follow off of my private account just so I can see them update their shit because those niggas are fly. They don't care about what who who's watching or whatever. They just post their shit and like a little quick come up, like a little Le Grand Bleu. Miss with a little bit much. You little be nigga. They pop their shit and they're mad secretive. It's like the CIA nigga of fashion niggas and I fuck with those niggas. That's what that's what I, I those are the niggas on the other side of the you feel me? On, they're like on the, the dark web type of niggas. And then you got the other niggas uh, who uh, just have fun. And honestly don't care and like mean not mean serious not serious and you know those are the beautiful niggas those two categories you should be those niggas the original niggas that don't even look at instagram explore page and say what am i gonna do next what's the pop culture what's the next trend they don't pop their shit nigga they just do what they gotta do nigga and if they look good they look good and if they look bad they look bad and sometimes no matter what the tier is you look good and you feel comfortable that's all that really matters but at the end of the day it's gonna be a nigga like me <laughs> calling you out and saying that shit's ass and you are not original nigga as much as you see yourself as i'm gonna be that nigga to call you out nigga thinking that you on some shit nigga now <laughs> i'm on that shit nigga try to reach out just like me that's why my closet is as expensive as it is it's a hundred thousand dollars random clothes crazy clothes some minimalistic uh something but like reach out find what suits you find what suits you wait for it <laughs> find what suits you and not the algorithm Hold that. I want you to hold it. Hold it. Grab it. Kiss it twice. Take a bite. Now your lips are greasy. Put it back in the oven. Let it cook. Find what's your style. Not the style of the algorithm. Not the trends, nigga. Hey, subscribe niggas for more content of course with all the yapping i'm gonna do for this video i think it's a pretty lengthy one it's a long process to edit but hey i forgot to leave off one thing you know what tier i'm on nigga <laughs> i'm the blueprint bitch peace out